Heavenly Father, I take this day to pray and intercede for um, Donald Trump and his wife, Melania Trump, together as a couple, as a married couple, Father God. And I'm going to be praying from some passages in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 23, Psalm 121, Psalm 91. And some scriptures out of the book of John Eckhart books called Prayers That Rout Demons and Break Curses. So I'm going to start with Psalm 23, verses 1 through 6 in the King James Version Bible. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He needed me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father, I now I thank you for this scripture in your word in Psalm 23, verses 1 through 6. And I'm going to pray Psalm 23 over Donald Trump and his wife, Melania Trump. I thank you, Lord, that you are Donald Trump and Melania Trump's shepherds. Donald Trump and Melania Trump shall not want. I thank you, Father, that you make it Donald Trump and Melania Trump to lie down in green pastures, that you needed Donald Trump and Melania Trump beside the still waters. I thank you, Father God, that you restored Donald Trump and Melania Trump's souls, that you needed Donald Trump and Melania Trump in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Yea, though Donald Trump and Melania Trump walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Donald Trump and Melania Trump will fear no evil. For you, Father God, are with Donald Trump and Melania Trump. Your rod and your staff comfort them. Father, I thank you that you prepare us. You prepare us a table before Donald Trump and his wife, Melania Trump, in the presence of their enemies. That you anointest their head with oil and their cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow Donald Trump and Melania Trump all the days of their lives. And Donald Trump and Melania Trump will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that this verse, this scripture is done in Donald Trump's life and Melania Trump's life. In the passage of your word, Father God, in Psalm 23, verses 1 through 6, in Jesus Christ's name. So now I'm going to read another scripture in your word, Father God, uh, from Psalm 91, verses 1 through 16. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save you, Lord, that you are my refuge and my fortress, my God, and you will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and love. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwell. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. 
the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Father, I thank you for your word in Psalm 91, verses 1 through 16 in the King James Version Bible. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Now, Father God, I'm going to pray Psalm 91 over Donald Trump and his wife, Melania Trump. Father, I thank you that Donald Trump and Melania Trump dwell in the secret place of the Most High. They shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Donald Trump and Melania Trump will say of you, Lord, that you are their refuge and their fortress, their God. And you, Father, will they trust. Surely, Father God, you shall deliver Donald Trump and Melania Trump from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Father, that you shall cover Donald Trump and Melania Trump with your feathers, and under your wings shall they trust. Your truth shall be their shield and buckler. Donald Trump and Melania Trump shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pessimists that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at Donald Trump's side and Melania Trump's side, and ten thousand at their right hand, but it shall not come nigh Donald Trump, nor nigh Melania Trump. Only with Donald Trump's eyes and Melania Trump eyes shall they behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is Donald Trump's refuge and Melania Trump's refuge even the most high their habitation there shall no evil befall Donald Trump therefore no evil shall be fall Melania Trump, neither shall any plague come nigh their dwelling. For you, Father God, shall give your angels charge over Donald Trump and Melania Trump to keep them in all your ways. They shall bear Donald Trump and Melania Trump up in their hands, lest they dash their foot against a stone. Melania, Donald Trump and Melania Trump shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shell. Donald Trump and Melania Trump trample under feet because, Father God, you have set your love upon Donald Trump and Melania Trump. Therefore, will you, Father God, deliver Donald Trump and Melania Trump. And, Father God, you will set Donald Trump and Melania Trump on high because, Father, you have known their names. Donald Trump and Melania Trump shall call upon you, and you will answer them, Father God, and you will be with Donald Trump and Melania Trump in trouble, and you will deliver Donald Trump and Melania Trump and honor Donald Trump and Melania Trump, and with long life will you satisfy them, Father God, Donald Trump and Melania Trump, and show Donald Trump and Melania Trump their salvation. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Father, I thank you that your word, Psalm 91, is done in Donald Trump's life and Melania Trump's life in Psalm 91, verses 1 through 16, in Jesus Christ's name, amen. So, Father, here's another scripture I'm going to read in Psalm 121, verses 1 through 8 in the King James Version Bible. I will lift up my eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Thank you, Father, 
God for your word in Psalm 121 verses 1 through 8 in Jesus Christ's name. Now I'm going to pray this over Donald Trump and Melania Trump. Father, I thank you that Donald Trump and Melania Trump will lift up their eyes into the hills when winds come at their help. Donald Trump and Melania Trump. Donald Trump and Melania Trump's help coming from you, Lord, which made heaven and earth. You will not suffer Donald Trump's foot nor Melania Trump's foot to be moved. You that keep it, Donald Trump and Melania Trump, will not slumber. Behold, you, Father God, that keep it, Israel, shall neither slumber nor sleep. I thank you, Lord, that you are Donald Trump's keeper and you are Melania Trump's keeper. I thank you, Lord, that you are their shade upon their right hand. The sun shall not smite Donald Trump nor Melania Trump by day nor the moon by night. I thank you, Lord, that you shall preserve Donald Trump and Melania Trump from all evil, and you shall preserve their souls. I thank you, Lord, that you shall preserve Donald Trump and Melania Trump going out, and they're coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Father, thank you that your word is done and Donald Trump and Melania Trump's life according to Psalm 121 verses 1 through 8 in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, I'm going to go to another scripture that I feel like the Holy Spirit have led me to go to in Ezekiel chapter 13 verses 20 through 23. Father God, and I'm going to pray, read this scripture out, and then I'm going to pray it over Donald Trump and his wife, Melania Trump, as you lead me to do, Father God. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye there... I'm going to do it over again. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear, and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strength and strengthen the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Father, I thank you for your word, Father God. That is being done, Father God, in the lives of Donald Trump and Melania Trump. Father God, thank you for Ezekiel chapter 13, verses 20 through 23 in the King James Version Bible, Father God. And I'm going to pray this scripture over Donald Trump and Melania Trump. Wherefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, Father, you said that you are against the pillows that these witches put against, you know, Donald Trump and his wife and his family and stuff, Father God. Wherefore, ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And Father God, they hunt Donald Trump and Melania's Trump soul to make them fly. And they tear them, and you will tear, you will tear them Donald Trump and Melania Trump from the arms of the witches and the warlocks that come against them, Father, and you will let their souls go. You will let Melania and Donald Trump's souls go, even the souls that they hunt to make them fly. And even as these witches and warlocks and these bullies that come against Donald Trump and his wife, Father God, you, Father God, will let them go. You will deliver them out of the hands of those that cause them to fly, you know, their souls to fly. Father God, to make to hunt them down to make their souls fly. And Father, you said their curses also will you tear. You will tear up the curses of these witches and warlocks of praying against Donald Trump and his wife, Father. And you will deliver Donald Trump as your people out of 
and, and Melania Trump has one of your people as well out of their hands, out of the hands of these perpetrators and these witches, Father God, these warlocks and stuff, and these Satanists. And there shall be no more. In